Some of those hiring in the triad include the Greensboro Grasshoppers. On opening day, they say they still need to hire about 40 people. The High Point Rockers will host a job fair tomorrow. All as Apple is set to bring more than 3,000 jobs to the state over the next few years. And as the triad gets back to business after the pandemic. But any business is dependent on its workforce. Hiring signs hang from Greensboro storefronts as businesses try to cater to more and more customers. There's a lot of pent up demand. You know that people are ready to go back to baseball stadiums. You know that they're getting ready and, and excited about stepping foot in that Tanger Center for the first time. Restaurants are, are gearing up. But some say potential employees are taking their time returning. The High Point Rockers are hoping to hire many more employees ahead of their season opener next month. You're talking close to 75, 80 positions, um, all, all, all told. Things that we need every single day. Greensboro Chamber of Commerce CEO Brent Christensen says they plan to work with businesses over the next few months to help them find and hire candidates. This economy opening up and, and starting to spread its wings again will be dependent on um, quali a qualified workforce. Some of the limiting factor will be their ability to find folks um, who are willing to come back to work. But he says there are other positive signs. There's a lot of activity out there, um, especially in the industrial uh, area. He sees that in both the triad as city councils and county commissions consider business incentives for companies and nearby as Apple plans to build a campus in Raleigh. We're hopeful that there'll be some opportunities that will um, come the triad's way based on Apple's decision. Christensen says the seeds of economic growth are planted. Now it's time to see how they grow. In Greensboro, Grace Holland, WFMY News 2.